Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today I am doing a 9 and 10 month update. Yay! 9 and 10 month update. You're getting so big. You're getting so big. So I don't know exactly. She, well, okay. She didn't do a whole lot um, between 8 and 9 months. So I didn't do an update then just because she really wasn't. There was no difference. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a little update on her, let you know what she's up to. Are you ready to tell them? No, are you going to be shy? Well, first we'll start with your weight. Should we tell them about your weight? Say, I weigh 19 pounds. 19 pounds! So she is like 19 pounds and like... A few ounces. Monday the 7th she turned 10 months and the Friday before she had surgery so she was in the hospital and they weighed her and she was 19 pounds. Yeah why are you being sad? Why are you nervous? And two ounces. And then um, around I would say around her nine month she was about 18 pounds like 18 pounds two ounces. So she's gained about a pound this past month, didn't you? Did you gain a pound? What else have you done? Say, I feed myself? <gasps> That's a big one, huh? So she is now, she can feed herself her bottle. She can hold it and give herself her whole bottle, which is really, really great. Um, developmentally, that's really good for her. I'm trying to give her less and less formula during the day because she's almost one and she should be eating more foods coming up so in the morning I give her her full six ounces and then during the day I give her four ounces but I'm feeding her food first and then I give her um, four ounces of milk and that seems to satisfy you because even if I gave you the six you wouldn't drink it all she drinks yeah about four ounces during the day and then another like four ounce before she goes to bed um, and she's been sleeping really really good I would say since she came home from the hospital from her surgery she's been sleeping like all night like six hour stretches but she has been waking up earlier you've been you've decided that you're gonna be an early bird haven't you see I wake up first I used to wake up at 7 then I started waking up at 6.30. Then I started waking up at 6. And now I wake up at 5.30. Don't you? That's okay. I don't mind waking up. It's kind of nice getting up so early in the morning and getting everything done before 10. It is. It's kind of nice. Because then we got the whole rest of the day to do whatever we want. She has been she has been giving kisses a lot. Like she'll just randomly like if I'm holding her, she'll just look at me and then go, ah, which is like her kissy face. It's so sweet. Um, another thing she's been doing is she feeds herself her mum mums. So they're like a teething biscuit pretty much, and she eats those. She really really likes them. They feel great on her teeth, and she can feed them to herself. Speaking of teeth. I don't know how many she had when she was nine months. I don't remember. But this girl, I think she had four. I think she had four. She has eight. You have eight teethers. Oh my goodness, they just keep coming. Eight teethers. That's a lot. So she has eight teeth and she is taking teething like a champ. Like she you wouldn't even know that she was teething she doesn't she's not fussy she kind of is like a little more slobbery but that's really about it she had her first surgery well technically her second because she did have a tongue clip when she was younger she had an umbilical hernia and they repaired that and then she had a hemangioma on her like her diaper area and they removed that so that's really good. So we're recovering and it's going really, really great. And now I have a belly button. But if you want to see about that, you can um, watch our last video because we talk about her surgery 
and her um, at the hospital. So in that video, a lot of you had questions about the hemangioma on her eye and why they didn't do anything about it while she was already in surgery. The reason is because the hemangiomas, when they're under the skin, like, okay, so you see the hemangioma on the outside and then under the skin, like what you don't see is like the vessels kind of like fan out. So they actually have to make a pretty big cut to be able to get all of all of it out you're so sleepy you didn't finish your nap i'm so sorry so the one on her belly area like the hemangioma really wasn't that big but her incision is pretty big it's um i mean it takes up almost her whole like right side of her stump bit belly area so it's really really big so for this that would be a really big scar on her face to get it out and they really don't want to do that they want to see if it'll go away on its own if it doesn't then they will do surgery on it but they really want to give it a chance to go down on its own before they put a big scar on her face she still isn't crawling um which is not a big deal because technically she's really developmentally like seven months so she still has some time to catch up now that the hemangioma and the hernia are fixed she definitely is showing like she's ready to start crawling like she's like when she's on her belly she kind of gets her knees up a little bit better so yeah I can already tell that she's starting to get her knees up under her a little bit more and she is really really close to crawling I'm so excited about that so that is going to be it for us today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed her little update. If you have any questions about her or her development um, or anything that she's doing, definitely leave them in the comments below and we will try to answer them as best as we can and we will see you guys next time. Bye! Say bye! Bye! You're so sleepy. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Give me a kiss. Can I have a kiss? Mm. I love you. Oh. Oh, the baby.